Good morning. It is Monday 20th, I believe, of November. This is a sort of weekly vlog, reading, colouring vlog. I find as I get closer to Christmas, it gets harder for me to do these sort of videos, or any sort of videos. Um, although we will be doing Vlogmas. But this will be the very last weekly vlog of 2023. Because next week, December starts on Friday, so I'm going to take that week off and get everything prepared, ready, so we can start Vlogmas on Friday the 1st of December. So I'm actually outside because I've got three orders to pack. So I'll give you a, a taste of what my this week's going to be like. This morning we had the Will's people phone. My dad wants me to help him because he wants to pop up in the loft because next the, the two houses joined onto us, onto his house, have had leaks in their uh, roofs and he wants to make sure there's no leaks but he needs somebody to hold the ladder. I also need to go to Tesco to get something and get Jen. So that's today. I might get a bit of photographing and have some lunch in there as well if I'm really lucky. Uh, tomorrow is Tuesday. I have to take my mum to the doctor. She needs an assessment for carer's allowance for my dad. So that's fun. So we have to go all the way to Convellin. Now, I wouldn't normally need to go, but he wants somebody to go in with her and he feels it'd be better if I went in. She's more likely to... if I'm there. So somebody who, who says I was prudish and when it came to talking about things like periods when I was a kid. She's very much a product of her grandmother who brought her up, who was Victorian and doesn't like to talk to doctors about problems. So she does need somebody in there to help. Um, that's all for tomorrow. I might get a bit of photographing done then as well. Uh, Wednesday, it's actually a free day. I was supposed to go to the dentist, but I went last week instead. So Wednesday I'm actually free, so we might go into town. Or we might go to the Darren and have lunch because we've got a 30% off mains coupons. Thursday there's something else, I mean, I've got to have a blood test. In the morning, because it's a fasting blood test, which means I can't have anything from midnight onwards, except for water. I'll have a little lie-in and then have breakfast when I get back. And Friday is a normal day, so it's not too busy. But as you can see, that's what I've got this week now. Now next week we've got the wills people bringing our new wills out. We've just made a few amendments for us to sign. So that's, that's Wednesday done. That's just so far. Next Friday we have the school fair, their Christmas fair. And on top of that I've got to start preparing for the concert, school concert and get Jennifer's costume sorted. We've got the top part, we just need some bottoms. And this is on top of everything we normally do, so that's me doing my eBay, that's tidying and cleaning the house, washing that I have to do. Um, so, so, and it's like this every year, it gets busier and, and it's harder to, to do stuff. And I think doing a small uh, daily vlog for Vlogmas might be quite fun, whether it's me reading or wrapping Christmas presents or just getting stuff ready. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But uh, I want to take Jennifer to a shop in Cumbrand called Festive. They've got a big car park um, and it's literally all Christmas stuff. And I think she'll love it. And I'll make a nice vlog. So, so look out for that, hopefully. And a few other bits and pieces. There'll be parties and Santas and things. And I'll have all that stuff to show you. Um, right, I'm going to crack on and pack my three orders and I'll see you in a bit. There's all the posts. I had another sale come in while I was doing it, so because I hadn't finished, I said I'd send it today. So four going off today. It's not too bad. I mean, it's quiet. It's coming up to December, so people aren't buying a lot of clothing. But people are still buying, so I'm going to whack this in the car and go down to my mum's. It's Monday afternoon. I've um, done what I had to do down at mum and dad's. I didn't do any photos. didn't get a chance to. By the time we'd pop to Tesco to get what I need to get, I know what he, a few bodies pop into Aldi. By the time I it was quarter to one and he still hadn't done the loft, so we also did that and had a cup of tea. I took my four items down to the uh, post office, so they're sorted. And now I'm just waiting for Jen. I, I Obviously I went into the charity shop, I bought five books. But they are authors that I do read a lot. Michael Connolly, there's four that I haven't read from him. And one Lee Child, Jack Reacher novel. 
Um, so I bought a few bits. I'm absolutely shattered. We'll sort out the coffee table underneath that on top so that we can, I can A, use the printer and B, we can use it. There's a lot of stuff to go upstairs because I've got a lot of colouring stuff down there. I'm going to take it all upstairs just so that it's all tidy and just keep one box and one bag of pens down, I think. Everything else can, can go back upstairs. I'll sort it out another time. I'm shattered. So I'm just going to sit here and look at my phone for a few minutes before I actually have to go to the school to get Jen. But, uh, how do I ever have time to go to work? Because I just don't know. It's bedtime, everybody's in bed. I know it's really dark, but these are the five books I bought. Lost Light, Black Eyes, City of Bones, Black Echo, which I'm reading by Michael Connolly, and Blue Moon by Lee Child. So that is actually pretty much it for today. I'm going to read for a bit before I go to sleep, but it won't be for long because I'm really tired tonight. I did buy myself this little reading, this little clip on reading light. It's just here. It's it won't work yet because just simply because um it's I've just put it on charge, so yeah. Um but obviously it's quite good. I think I could use it for reading or if I want to colour in bed at night I could uh use it for that as well. So yeah, it's quite good. Look how bright it is, it's got three settings as well. Oh well it's a uh, oh it's quite spooky. <laughs> And then it goes off. So I'm just let that charge up. But yeah, so that's that. That was only like like four quid in in um, Lidl's. There is a, a picture I want to colour up here, so I'll be able to clip it onto that book and do it up here with the, the light off. I'll have a little go in a minute actually, just to see what it's like. But that's it for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow and we'll do something else. Good morning, everybody. I've been so busy working on my eBay stuff that I haven't updated you. So yes, this morning I did some eBay put five live got my draft ready, sorted out some more slides and updated that list in with now how many packets I've got available. Um, be doing some more of those later. I'm now going off to Mum's to do a little bit of photographing before we go to the doctors. So let's see how it goes. Right, I'm now at Mum's. I'm out of breath. So Mum says she's going to come up and get dressed and then she'll need some help getting downstairs just to keep an eye on her. So I said just knock on the door. Uh, don't come in, just knock because I might be right behind the door because uh, I'll be using that. I'm just going to crack on and do some photos now. I have got a spare bag. Oh, I'm tired. <sighs> I am tired, but it just means I can get stuff done and get it sorted, ready for drafting and listing. I can, in fact, I could do the drafting while we're waiting at the doctors to go in. Just literally could just sit there and tap on my phone. If there's reception, I can, I can draft. At least get the pictures off the phone and on. So, yeah. I'm going to have a sip of tea. Get my breath back enough. And crack on. I did break up another five bags of slides. I have still got a load more, which is fine. And I will just carry on doing them throughout the week. So, tomorrow we plan to go to Newport because Dad is not sure what to get Jennifer. So, I said... How about Wednesday, because I'm free Wednesday now. We go to Smith's Toy Superstore and we'll have a look there. We can go to Home Bargains, we can go to The Range. There's also a sort of, it's a charity shop, but it's not a charity shop, called New Life, where they sell brand new items that come from other shops cheap. So for instance, Hobbs jackets are like eight quid or something like that. So I'm not gonna spend a fortune there, but I would like to check it out and have a quick look, see if there's anything interesting. Um, I'm so tired. Every time I put this damn camera on, I start yawning. So this morning I've applied for a couple of jobs. See how that goes. So I am trying, anybody out there who's worrying about me doing too much colouring and reading, I am applying for jobs during the day. Um, any colouring and reading is done in the evening when I'm at home with Jennifer, keeping an eye on her or I'm playing with her. I've hardly coloured anything this month at all. Um, reading is different because I do that in bed before I go to sleep for about half an hour to an hour depending on how I feel. I'm reading um, Sally Rooney, Conversations with Friends and it's okay, it's interesting but she doesn't use quote marks when somebody's talking so it all it confuses me. I don't like that sort of writing. I like there to be quote marks where I know when a sentence that somebody says starts and ends. 
as opposed to running into thought processes and things. So, because I'm finding it quite difficult, I do want to finish it, I do want to see what happens, I'm quite interested. Um, what I tend to do is read a chapter and then go and do a list challenge and then read another chapter like that, that way it breaks it up a bit and I'm not constantly getting irate because of the fact that there's no quotes. I don't know. But it's an interesting story. Try not to yawn. It's not, it's not working. So yeah, if I get anything really nice, I'll uh, I'll show you. My dad's giving me a black jacket. It doesn't look like it's got any branding in it. It's just a men's suit jacket. Single-breasted by the look of it. Um, so I'll do that first because it's actually on a hanger. And then it can go in the bag to be measured and stuff. So, yeah. I'm looking forward to Vlogmas. Because like I said, that'll just be short little videos. They're maybe five, five minutes long, if that. Um... Just show what I'm getting up to during Christmas days if I start. If I do get one of these jobs, one of the start dates is the 4th of December. So that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Manic time to start a new job in a shop. But I don't care. I'd rather it be busy. Um, yeah, basically I've applied for a British super, uh, a supermarket chain. I'm not going to say which one at the moment. And if I get it, great. And I've said I can work nights, earlies, afternoons. Not so much evenings, because I want to spend some time with Jennifer. I won't see Jennifer or Paul if, if I'm working, you know. But I'm happy, happy to do anything, really. I mean, I'm happy to start at five o'clock in the morning. It doesn't bother me. I'm usually awake anyway. So and I'm happy to work through the night. But we just have to see what happens. We're going to have a slug of tea and crack on with these photos. Oh, I photographed a few items. Not much. i do some more tomorrow. Um, took mum to the doctors just to get everything down on paper in case the... People sorting out carers like contact them and the doctors will say yes we, we know she cannot do this, this, this and this. And, and you know, and all that stuff. And then we went and had some lunch. And then I was really tired and I thought, should I do some photographing? But I didn't. I decided to go upstairs and lie down on one of the beds. <laughs> it's the bed that Christopher's it's Christopher's bed, but he's not here, he's in New Zealand. Um obviously all his sheets and stuff will be washed before he gets home for Christmas. So I just went and had an hour. Well, about fifty minutes care, but it was lovely. I'm still knackered. Dad's just popped to the um, the chemist. I just dropped him off. And he might probably come round um, and see Jennifer. And then we'll drop him off either at home or at the pub if he wants to go for a pint. That's it. I'm tired. Got a book off my bum. Uh, she's read. But I haven't. So that's cool. Another book to add to the TBR. It's uh, never ending. But it's okay. And we'll see what Jennifer feels like doing this afternoon when we get home. Well, that's it, really. Not a lot happening. I'm going to try and do a bit of reading tonight. Not much. I mean, I might have a look quick for some more jobs. Um, but obviously, I'll be doing that tomorrow once I've done my bit of eBay in the morning. Uh, but yeah, Let's see what's going to happen. So, I'm just getting ready for bed. Um, both just done sister and so in. Jennifer's asleep. And I thought I'd show you some of my sheen order that I got, um, which is all Marilyn related. So this little Marilyn hair clip. This lovely Marilyn mirror. This is one of my favourite bits. Um, a little makeup bag with faux pearl handle. A little. It's all authorised by the estate. This cute handbag. How cute is this? And it smells. You know that vinyl smell yet? Plasticky vinyls, but I love the smell. But isn't that cute? And a hairbrush, which is downstairs because I need it in the morning to brush my hair. And my shirt. My night shirt. Yay! I love it. So I have a nice hot shower tomorrow and then I'm going to wear it. And I can't wait. I've got a pair of uh, grey jogging bottoms to wear with it. All things. But yes, now I can do my face with my Marilyn hand <laughs> So silly, I know. Um, yeah, I'm going to read for a little bit now because I'm really tired. So it won't be for long, but it will be. I did finish off uh, a colouring page I started downstairs. I've still got a buddy colour to do, so I do apologise, Molly, that I have not finished it. I haven't even started it. I'm not going to lie. I plan to it in the next couple of days. I'm just getting some uh, more job applications in, hopefully, and some more... Um, what are they called? eBay stuff done. I have had 
two sales. I'm waiting for payment on one. The other one has paid, so that will be going off tomorrow and it is a dress. And I bought the dress for a pound and I sold it for 18, so I'm not going to complain. So I'll update you on what I've read afterwards. I am going to try and read a good chunk more of this book. I'm on chapter 20, page 183. So hopefully I'll make a good chunk of it today and let you know. Now this book, I've said, because it hasn't got um, quotes on it, I find it hard to read and I do it in between doing list challenges. And I will still do that. So I am going to uh, get ready for bed, take my medication and uh, crack on. So I'll let you know when I've done it. Good morning, it's, it's Wednesday morning. Jennifer's in school, pulls down and lie down and I'm about to do a bit of eBay. I did finish reading the Sally Rooney book, Conversations with Friends. It was okay. Um, but, they, you know, the, other than her having this affair with this married man and them both accepting that they were going to see other people, it was a really bizarre book. It was all right. Um, I'm not sure I'd pick up another one by her. I might do. But I, I don't know. I also read another Agatha Christie short story, which is good. And I read a bit more in the new... Well, I'm in a book, Hello Norma Jean, which I'm enjoying, um, so I'm just going to read that bit by bit. Um, I'm going to carry on reading the Michael Connolly soon, and I'm just going to uh, crack on and do a bit of work. We're going to go out today, We're gonna, because Dad doesn't know what to get Jennifer for, for Christmas. So uh, I said we'll go down to Smith's Toy Superstore and have a look. Let's see if there's anything she fancies, uh, that we might think she might like, like a board game or something. So that's bad with today. So we have I'm going to go and crack on with this eBay now. I'll see you in a bit. Things we know. We've got Christmas stuff. So here we are, we're at Smith's Toy Superstar. Modern day equivalent to Toys R Us, I suppose. Are you in there? Then we're going to go Pets. And I might even go and TK Maxx. So everybody's here. We have Jennifer. She would love to be here. But as we're shopping for Christmas presents for her, for Mum and Dad to give her. Uh, yeah, it's not a good idea. So we're going to have a look. I've never been in here. It's a giant Barbie! So yeah, the battery went as we were in Smith, so I couldn't take any more footage. Charged up at my mum's, I'm now waiting to pick up Jen. Paul's in the pub with my dad, which is fine. Oh, I'm tired. Um, I've got a plan for tomorrow, which is mostly working on eBay, which is fine. We've got her a couple of birthday presents because her birthday's at the end of January. It just means it's all done and we don't have to worry about it in the new year. I'm actually going to pull my phone and get the pictures I took yesterday drafted as eBay listings. Um, yeah, I'm just tired. So I can get stuff done tomorrow. Uh, it's nice you can have a shower and put on my new Marilyn night shirt, which I'll show you if you're lucky. Good morning everybody, it's actually Friday morning and if you're wondering what happened to Thursday, well, nothing. Thursday happened and then it was over but nothing interesting happened. So we got up and took Jennifer to school. I didn't sleep very well, I was absolutely shattered so I got to be honest, I went back to bed. I did have to go for a blood test first thing. I got home, had my cup of tea because I hadn't had one because it was a fasting blood test. And um, Paul said, you look really tired. I said, I am. I'm going to back bed for an hour. Well, it was gone 11 when I woke up. And I thought, right, I'm not going down to Mum's today now. And I don't really feel up to it. So I put some listings live. Um, that's about all I did. Uh, I have had three sales. So I'll be packing them up later to take down when I go and get Jennifer later on. Um, I've got a bit of measuring to do, which is why I'm sitting here. I'm going to do that measuring now. I've got a new bob below. I'm just putting the uh, um, thing on. Uh, the battery's in. I'm, I'm so tired, as you can tell. And, yeah, I'm going to measure. I've got a dress that's got a few bobbles on it, so that's why I got it. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm quite tired. I have got a camera that needs testing, it's on the table here, it just I just need to go out and shoot the film, I put a film in it. I think not having a proper job and proper routine and getting out enough is what's making me so tired, I don't think it's anything else, I think it's anything sinister. So I'm going to try and get a bit more exercise this weekend, 
So like I said, I've got a few things to do. I am going to crack on and get this stuff measured so I can get it drafted and then I'll see what the time is. And then I'll either, if I get a chance, I'll do some more slides. Um, but if not, I'll leave them till next week and I'll go up to the shed, put some stuff away and uh, yeah, pack up the three I've got going out. So could be worse, could be worse. Considering it's the middle of the month, near the end of the month, people are waiting for payday and it's getting close to Christmas. It's not been a good month as last month, but it's still been okay. I mean, there's still money coming in and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. I might be getting a label printer soon because my friend runs his own company, well, his wife runs a company. They make mugs. They made the Jennifer mug that I was using the other week. Um, and he wants to get a Bluetooth printer um, because he says he gets fed up of having to keep plugging his phone in. I said, to, to me, it's a Mac, so I plug it into the laptop anyway. Um, and I don't get that many orders, so he's going to let me have his non-Bluetooth label printer for like 30 quid um, and a load of labels which is great to start me off to get used to it so that would be handy it, may, it might make the postage a bit cheaper because sometimes if you buy it through eBay it can be a little bit cheaper I've never done it so it's something I will try but I'm going to crack on now um, I'm thirsty as well uh, so that's the plan and then I'm going to mum's to photograph some more of the stuff that's still there so I'll, I'll show you anything interesting. there's nothing interesting it's mostly men's stuff down there now um, if not all men's stuff and then I'm going to have a nice bowl of stew at my mum's. And we're going to go to do some shopping. And then come home. Pick up Jen, come home. We'll obviously drop the parcels in because they got to go off. But yeah, it's all good. We're doing okay. Feeling better today. Feeling a lot happier today. I don't know what, what it is. Sometimes it gets you, things just get you down, don't they? Um, but I have been applying for jobs, so we'll just see what happens. Keep trying. That's all I can do. I'll see you in a bit. I've done all my measuring and I'm now going to transfer this onto my eBay account. Get them all ready so that I can literally just press go. It's the best way of doing it. Um, then I'm going to try and take the stuff up, put it away. I do have to sort out the table so that I can photograph on there Monday potentially. As well as measure. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much sorted. There's just a few little bits on there that need to be put away, so it's fine. I'm just going to crack on now, get this lot done, and get my orders packed. Yay! Here's some stuff I've got to put away, although this is actually sold, so I don't need to. i just got to pack it. Shed's a right mess. I'm going to have to cry and come up here maybe tomorrow and, and sort it out again. It's just... Yeah, so I'm going to get and crack on and get this stuff away, pack the three orders I've got going out, and then I'm going to head over to Mum's to do some photos. Okay, I'm back at Mum and Dad's now, and I'm going to photograph whatever I can. I'm pretty sure it's all menswear. I don't think there's any ladies' clothing in there, which is great. It's quicker to do. I haven't got a mannequin for a man. Um, I plan on getting a top half body like I have, um, which I call Mabel. I've got Maisie, which is a full female uh, mannequin. And I've got Mabel, which is my half mannequin, you know, torso. And I'm going to get a male one at some point and call it Mac. Yeah, there you go. So I am going to crack on now. There's a bag full of um, various bits and pieces of men's clothing, jumpers, t-shirts, that is, some sort of shirt, yeah, and um, jumpers and some trousers. I'm going to try and get as much of this done in the next hour and then it'll be time for a lovely hot bowl of stew which I cannot wait for because I love it. It's quarter past 12 and I've actually finished with all photographs of everything I've got um, clothes-wise simply because it's menswear and it's so much quicker because I don't have, like I said, a mannequin to hang it on. So I'm going to go downstairs now and have a cup of tea. So I'm hoping if it stays like this tomorrow I'll be able to tidy up my shed a bit and, and sort out some more stuff to test and list. So, fingers crossed, I can get some of it done. Yeah, I'm going to try anyway. Um, I have still got a few things down there to photograph on this, so yeah. There's nothing in the auction much this week, so I'm not worrying about that. Let's see what happens now.
It's night and it's bedtime. We did go up to the pub for fish and chips, it was really nice. And we've just been sitting, Jennifer was watching on the tablet and then I was colouring and Paul was reading. It was just a really quiet night, we didn't have the TV on at all, it was lovely. I'm now up here, I've just done my, my Welsh lesson. So it's very slow going because I'm only doing a little bit at a time because I can't cope with too much. I just need to look over everything before I do the lesson. But I am learning it. It's just learning to speak it. Some of it I would be able to speak. So, you know, I can say welcome and your name and I am. But um, I'll tell you what, I'm Weddy Blino, which means I'm tired. There's another word before Weddy Blino, but Weddy Blino is tired. So. <laughs> But I am learning it. I still think it's funny the first word they teach you is drag, which is dragon. Drag. But it's good. So it's done. At least I'm trying to, to learn it. Um, but I think Duolingo is quite good fun. I'm, you know. So I am currently reading. Is it gone? Oh, God, no, where is it? I brought it up. It's here somewhere. The Black Echo by Michael Connolly. I'm sure I brought it up. And Hello, Norma Jean by uh, Elisa Jordan. So I'm going to read a bit of that and uh, go to sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Saturday tomorrow. It's Saturday. We're having a bit of a tidy and clean up, trying to get ready for Christmas slowly, aren't we? Jennifer's eating a lollipop. There's toys everywhere. Put them on the table, Jen, so that they don't get lost. Say hello. Hello. So we're just going to put some stuff up in the attic. That's always fun, as you know. And uh, we'll be going out a bit later because it's a light switch on today. Down at the park. So we'll have a look. So we crack on. Jennifer's got this robot and it copies everything you say. She was getting frustrated with it, but now she's loving it. I love you with my heart. Can you turn it round? I love you with my heart. It can move anywhere if you turn it on. Yeah, it moves and everything, but we're going out now, aren't we? Yeah, but I'm going to show it to, show it to Alex. Okay. Wow, weren't they incredible? Yeah. Bristol yeah. Primary School. Woo! Well done, guys. They stole the show, to be fair, didn't oh, they? Oh, they were incredible. Incredible. Absolutely. Well done. Well done, kids. They were just great. And do you know what? You lot at the back couldn't see it, but I think it's the teachers at the front here working so hard to motivate the situation on stage. So well done to everybody. Loved it. Um, OK, the lights go on at uh, 5.30. It's 20 past four now. Uh, we're going to have another round of... What have we got coming up next? Woods? We're going to do a bit, of, a bit of karaoke, all right? So oh. we're, looking, we're looking for four children to take part in a bit of karaoke. Very simple karaoke. It's called the word is out. Is that the one? That's the one. Right. The word is out. So you're not gonna you're gonna find or you're gonna sing the missing word. Uh, we're looking for four volunteers. Let's have a look around now. Volunteers. Who wants to come on stage? All right. Let's have a look. You want to come on stage? We're gonna play a Christmas song. We'll be organise who's coming on stage to play a bit of karaoke. Hey. Oh, they never are, are they? That's why they got the porters down. Jennifer! Paul, wait for me. I need a wee. There's a Grinch there. Oh, I see. Let me, um... No. It's quite good to see how busy it is. There's a big queue for Santa. As you can see, you can't really see it. But Jennifer and her friends are in the queue together. It's a pub at the background. Alex is supposed to be coming down. We've got an, an, an naughty elf and a Grinch. Um, Jagger and Woody. Yeah, and it's freezing cold. It's not as cold as it could be. But it's, it's cold enough. <laughs> Me 
Martin Santa, first time this year. <laughs> yeah, the trees are about to come on, Joe. We're gonna watch them put the lights on. And then we'll go in, okay? Oh, it's freaking freezing. I am, I am absolutely. All I say is time to go home, have some dinner, and sit down and watch Doctor Who. Oh, it's Doctor Who tonight? Yeah, 60th anniversary. Is it the 60th anniversary tonight, is it? Oh, my goodness. Tonight. <laughs> She loves Doctor Who. Stop in it. Stop in it. I don't know who's in it. Three, two, one! Woo! I think my eyes are. I don't know, it doesn't sound. Worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Two hours in the freezing cold for that. Back from the park now and I am really cold. My face is freezing, Jen. Okay. Those lights weren't impressive. There's nothing like London or any of the cities. But any marshmallows. Well don't eat them then. But it's our park and it's our town and we love it, don't we? We love it. And Jennifer saw Santa and got some sweets. We saw Jagger and Woody from the radio. Yeah. And Jennifer saw loads of her friends, which was really nice. But we love our town and we're proud of it. So I don't care what anybody says. I love their lights. I'm going to go and cook some tea now because Doctor Who's on in a bit and I want to watch it. <laughs> got my dinner. Sausage, mash and veg, and gravy. And in five minutes, well less than five minutes, Doctor Who! I saw the new doctor as the doctor. Mm-hmm. It's time. Welcome Must to with that. With me here on BBC One Wales. Glad of your company. And if there ever was a moment to reconnect with the Doctor, here it is. It's you know who, but none of us know why. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this. Hey everyone, it's Sunday morning and we're just getting ready to go shopping. Doctor Who last night was, I enjoyed it personally, I loved it, I thought it was great. So, oh, sorry, I've got itchy ear. I have no idea what happened then. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, it was a nice episode. I mean, it's not like the normal anniversaries where you have multiple old doctors. We just had David Tennant um, as a new doctor, which is bizarre, but I know that it all links and threads through to when Shooty Gatua takes over, which I'm looking forward to seeing. I can't wait to see what he brings to the TARDIS. Uh, yep, yeah, it's going to be good. Um, so this is the last day of the last weekly vlog of 2023. It's like I said, on Friday I'm going to have the Monday to Thursday off, just crack on with my normal stuff. And then on Friday we're going to be doing Vlogmas. So I'm hoping maybe put the tree up Friday. It depends on how much I can get done downstairs first in um, Hoover in uh, the living room. Um, we've got a nice new little tree. It's a tiny tree. It's not very big, but it's really nice. So I can't wait to show you all. But I'm going to crack on and get shopping. So it's Sunday night and we're off to bed. Jennifer's asleep. She said she wasn't feeling very well, so I'm going to keep an eye on her. Um, yeah, that's the last weekly vlog for 2023. Obviously on Friday we'll be starting Vlogmas. So I'm just have a few days to try and get some stuff sorted. Um, I have read a good chunk of Michael Connolly, The Black Echo. 
as you can see, about halfway through, just over halfway through. So I might read a little bit of that tonight. I bought this today. The haunting season. Ghostly tales for long winter nights. Sounds very good. I've got boxes on my bed, which are Christmas presents for Paul. But I have got all my presents now. I've just got to wrap them up. So yeah, um, that's it really for now. I'll see you on December the 1st. Have a lovely week, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.